So it is Friday. It's about 1.36, kind of burning the midnight oil, trying to get this done before tomorrow, October the 3rd, uh, 2014, and working hard away at work to make sure that hopefully the world stays a free place for you and for our kids and for all the other kids that are going to grow up uh, during this time. So one of the things that we're going to be talking about today is the beheadings in Oklahoma, the ISIS scare, the um, government selling terror to kind of get more of a police state and to get people to openly uh, open their doors to them and just let them come in and do whatever they want and just selling fear. Uh, it's kind of been in history. We're seeing repeats now. Before it was the communists, you know, it was this, it was that, you know. Uh, they just have so many different things. Um, we've already seen examples of selling fear to get people to do things such as the 9-11, which was the biggest gold heist, and uh, a lot of mini millions of innocent people have uh, suffered from it, and we're also seeing now they're still trying to carry out this, uh, you know, this nonsense with uh, the Middle East where we're going over there, we're taking all the oil, uh, you know, and they're just selling it to the Europeans, the Americans are not even getting it. Um, not that, you know, taking anybody's stuff, you know, for profit is right, which I don't believe it is, but I'm just saying is they are just a couple selfish individuals that care nothing for life and for the lives of those people out there or our soldiers. So we're going to talk about today their, their scare and their selling fear. I call it the government theater. I had recently talked about, you know, watch my RG's video on how to spot uh, fake videos in government theater. Well, you can see, as we'll see right now, they shut down my uh, flash, so I won't be able to point out exactly what it is, but we can still go through and I'll kind of give you an idea of some of the things that are there signaling, and you can tell that, you know, it's more of a story that they're creating. So here we go. So right here we see... Um, we see beheading in Oklahoma, that's what we're looking at, we're looking on Yahoo, and then it has different things, it says prosecutor to seek death penalty in Oklahoma beheading, after a beheading in Oklahoma, the debate over what to call it, more beheadings in Oklahoma, Oklahoma man is charged in beheadings of co-workers, New York Times, um, so we have a couple different things that we're looking at here, and it's become like a buzz, which is that everybody, uh, you know, to change the direction to look at it. I call it an internet info, info bomb. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go see if we can find a video. And, okay. So we are going to click that off real quick. I have it off because... Yeah, there's so much junk out there. Let's see. And news. Maybe we should look under news. So we'll look under news. And Bola. Looking up. Type it in. Oklahoma. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So we have something right here, which is something of a video, it looks like. And it's coming up. We see that we have all these different people. Same thing I saw on the very first day. Uh, Thursday, the sink to death penalty for 30 year old Alton Nolan. So, I believe that this right here is a secret, it's kind of a message that they're putting out there. And um, I've been put publishing things out there which are part of the uh, navigation for maritime and boating. And you'll see a lot of similarities in some of these things they have out there. The other thing, too, is that it also talks about the original one about more. And more is a term in boating that represents the buoys. 
And so I believe that part of this stuff is also a communication message to the other people that are part of this society that are paying attention to these things and are supposed to be also helping to spin the fear. So let's see real quick. Um, and, and these guys are more than likely are part of the, uh, the problem right here. They're part of, they know what's going on. This is in Oklahoma, which is, you know, one of the centers for a lot of this stuff that, uh, this KKK pagan group that has been going out and just literally, uh, trying to take control of so many different things, the secret society. So let's, see, I don't see anything here. So we're going to go over to YouTube. Let's enter, and then we're going to press Oklahoma, Oklahoma, B, heading, let's press that and see what we find for Oklahoma beheading, and then let's see, heading full 911 call, one beheaded by Muslim convert, now this video right here all of a sudden has changed to you know something that's looking more like an Islamic or you know a video in that when we just saw the video that it was at a warehouse that doesn't look anything like that in the original video I saw it before they turned it off it was showing that the they didn't even know who it was they never even told them they were just like oh okay glad it's not me oh sorry you know they hear this and sorry for the loss but it never was who it actually was so let's see And let's see, latest videos. And this may be that this were the two ladies that were talking right here. So, as you can see, they uh, turned it off because I do really want to show how to find, you know, tell you guys how to spot the videos. Um, they're just been to convert coworkers to Islam. Muslim beheads woman and stabs another in Oklahoma. This is Alton Nolan. Um, drove up one food more in Oklahoma, and this is originally um, it was from a news channel right here. So maybe we'll just check this out right here. We'll go copy. We'll just paste it in there. Paste. Enter. Breaking news. And so I'm just searching through it. I'm looking. We'll do a search. We'll come up here. And we'll put Oklahoma and like moon for various there's yeah this it's probably not accurate I don't know let's see oh this right here is actually um, Oklahoma has a statue of pretty much Satan so that would be something you might want to check out on your own time but it's it's pretty interesting uh, the bunker let's see so on this I don't see I see this it's not here I think we saw this one video news base death penalty the after the debate let's see let's see I think this was probably one of the earliest ones right here and when we first read it or seen it it had um, pretty much it was on this bonds and then it was talking about the location was in more let's see if we can find the more and so that's how I knew when I saw that that this is more of a message. Let's see. 
on, let's see, committing. So right here, and towards the Murphy heading, Bonds worker, and recently, I'm surprised it's not showing where this is at. Cleveland County. And, and that's even more support of what I was just saying about let's see now we're going to the hospital right here so of Moore Oklahoma so you right here we're seeing Alton which is a it's like a, a DV it's a different direction in navigation and uh, Nolan and then we all see more Oklahoma right here um, so originally he was originally he was said to have just stabbed him now and then it became a beheading and it became you know kind of a bunch of other things so anyways um, you know one of the things I'd check out and as we get this thing fixed uh, we'll let you know but definitely um, be looking for my how to spot uh, edited videos and edited information and also to figure out what's going on with the secret messages and we'll just call this Oklahoma beheading so to give somebody people things to think about in ISIS and I believe ISIS is really you know this this group this uh, I believe they're a KKK pagan group the Illuminati or whatever you want to call them but they're all the same thing they uh, follow the Bible but it's not the Jesus Christ part it's the other part and so they're just trying to maintain control and sell fear and they do some really horrible things to try to keep that and one of the biggest things that I would have to say in regards to this is that you know I just keep very positive keep very aware and definitely keep talking keep reporting things and um, I think ISIS is part of it also and I think ultimately right now you know they are trying to get everybody to fight via their religion because whoever has a religion they feel very strongly about it and I'm a Christian myself and I believe in Jesus Christ and I you know there's nothing that's more valuable to me than him and I think you know they have other um, religions that they're trying to fight for which are they're trying to sell um, kind of a satanic one and I think you know that's kind of one of the biggest things right now they have commercials by Geico don't get kicked by the goat they have other uh, commercials with Baphomet like we just saw and other things with the goat the devil itself the pentagram the stars they're showing Ferguson with stars and so they're kind of right back to their old things and so it's just something to keep aware of because as time goes on you know, unless people start confronting these things and changing it, you know, things are never going to get better. But until then, we'll talk soon. Bye.